In this video, we will be talking about how ATP is made. ATP, adenosine triphosphate, is a nucleotide triphosphate used in cells as a coenzyme of intracellular energy transfer. ATP transports chemical energy within cells for metabolism. Every day, more than 65 kilograms of ATP is formed in the human body. In chemiosmotic phosphorylation, ATP is converted from ADP and inorganic phosphate in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. Enzymes within the membrane are arranged in the electron transport chain to move electrons to ATP synthase, which is powered by the proton motive force. Proton motive force is the energy of the proton concentration gradient across the membrane. Like a hydroelectric dam, protons are pumped across the membrane, creating a proton reservoir on one side. Protons flow through protein turbines within the membrane, which powers ATP synthesis, similarly to water flowing through mechanized turbines to generate electricity. To help you remember what goes on in a cell to create the proton motive force to make ATP, here's a little story. It all starts with NADH, a high energy molecule created as a product of breaking down food. NADH carries two electrons and transports them to the NADH dehydrogenase. Once NADH loses two electrons, it is oxidized to NAD+. As the electrons reach the NADH dehydrogenase, they each release a hydrogen ion across the membrane. Then the two electron squares travel from NADH dehydro airport to cytochrome BC1 NIA via Air Ubiquinone Airlines. Once they arrived in cytochrome BC1 NIA, the two electrons must take a zipline one by one to go to cytochrome oxidase NIA, where they finally reach the Great Roller Coaster. Once they get onto the zipline, each electron releases another star of space. Finally, they arrived at cytochrome oxidase NIA. They have to wait for two more electron buddies to arrive before taking the Great Roller Coaster because it only has cars of four passengers. The Great Roller Coaster takes the four electrons back to land. The four electrons interact with molecular oxygen and eight stars. The four electrons, four stars, and the molecular oxygen are used to form two water molecules. The other four stars are pumped into space. Now let's zoom out. The electron's journey to ride the Great Roller Coaster is representative of the electron transport chain. The process of electron transfer creates a proton gradient that is used for ATP synthesis. But what about those hydrogen ion stars that were pumped into space? These hydrogen ion stars create a proton gradient between Earth and space as electrons travel in the electron transport chain. The gradient powers a spinning ride, ATP synthase. As hydrogen ion stars drift back to Earth, they attach to the spinning ride, which creates energy to run a rotor. The powered rotor is what allows ADP and inorganic phosphate to make ATP. The proton motive force is the movement of hydrogen ions, which ultimately powers ATP synthase, making ATP. Every second, 10 million ATPs are consumed and regenerated to power our bodies. Without the proton gradient and the electron transport chain, we would not be able to have the large amount of ATP and energy to do the things we do every day.